Hey jammers and welcome back to another video. In this video, it will teach you how to get rare. If you want a DJ headset like I have right here or a rare snowflake penguin, this video is the right one for you. For this one, you need sapphires. If you don't have any, you can watch my other video on how you can get sapphires. But using the My Shop Explorer, occasionally there are jewel swords. I'm searching them up to see or candy lollipops or rare stuff like that that you can buy and you can trade them up and get a lot of them and you can get cuffs with them sometimes okay let's see there's no curly antlers right now but the jewel lollipop swords would be a good way to get rare you just have to buy a bunch of them and then you trade them up to cuffs and then you buy more and more and you get the idea this next way is to get a dj headset for free it's super simple all you need to do is subscribe and just comment your username in my giveaway video but it's only for one person that wins it will be generated by a random wheel but good luck and yeah this one is probably the most basic but in trading dens you can trade up i'm not going to try and get into one as it is a nightmare getting into them but if you happen to be an artist or want to train to be an artist that's good you can actually do art commissions for quite a lot just like this beautiful art done by tsunami tomo aj I'll link her channel in the description if I have time. She did this amazing artwork and it was quite cheap. It was like 400 sapphires and a duck. But she's doing realistic commissions for forest gauntlets and cash. And people actually buy that sort of stuff because art is quite nice and interesting. So if you're an artist, I recommend you doing that. It's super simple. This next one takes a lot of patience, but if you're willing to make a rainbow pet, you can get quite a lot of items from it. You can get forest gauntlets or a few of them. I personally got two forest gauntlets and a glider for them. Basically, you just have to put your pets inside of the thing. You need five of the exact same pet. One has to be level five to make a ruby and you can get a rainbow pet. This next one cost money, but I think it's pretty worth it. I've done it before, but if you want a phantom beanie or something like that, I'm not quite sure if they're discontinued, but you can get the Animal Jam mystery box on a website, I think. And they actually have a promo code that you redeem in Animal Jam once you buy it. It can only be used once, but it works. My lucky last tip is joining some packs. Some packs drop sapphires and giveaway items for active runners. I'm not going to call any names out as I don't really know. But I will promote our pack for us stuff. We have a pack and you can join it. It does sapphire drops every like month, I think. And we do give away items sometimes for active runners. Feel free to join if you want. There is no need, but yeah. Anyway, so next tip I'm doing right now is digging up stuff and finding other items. It's really easy and hard at the same time. It just t does take a lot of patience. I'm pretty sure all of these methods do in a way. You just go around Jama looking for five flights, octopusum, nocturnal things, and you can eventually get quite a lot of sapphires or rare items. I would recommend going to Apondeo at night time. A lot of people do phantoms and drop phantoms there so you can fight them and get prizes. And it's also good for nocturnal items, fireflies, and snowflakes. But snowflakes are in myths. Mount Shavir, I think. Let's see if I can find one real quick. So far, nope. But yeah, this is my last tip. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe so I can get my goal of 
1,000 subscribers. And by the way, my Teal DJ headset giveaway ends at 400 subscribers. Good luck.